Hey girl, you want to be in the video? Say hello. Say hi. Hey guys, this is cross training with a cross purpose. We're going to get so much accomplished today, and I do believe, potentially, we have an audience. Okay? So I'm trying to get back in shape to run fast, but I'm limited to the amount of miles I can actually run because I have a chronically inflamed lower lumbar. It's from wearing heavy body armor and being strapped down, cinched down tightly to a gunner's turret in Iraq for a year. But listen, I don't make excuses as to why I cannot do what I want to do these days. I make ways to do the things I want to do. If I can't run 50 miles a week, I'll run 25, I know I can, and I will cross train to get the cardio and the endurance and the strength in other ways without pounding my back. I'm going to show you a, work a workout I've been devising for the last couple of weeks, potentially I may be showing somebody else, but first of all, I need a lovely assistant. Once upon a time, I had a coach. Now I use a lovely assistant. So with no further ado, my lovely assistant. Ta-da! Honey, look at the chair collar and my coat. I wasn't planning on freestyling, but notice how her pink outerwear matches the same color as her pink chair. We're trying to get Bigfoot <laughs> Sasquatch to come out of there. Out of where? Under there? <laughs> no, but I just made you say underwear. <laughs> well, that was pretty impromptu. Yep. This is my beautiful bride, Dearly, a.k.a. Giggly Girl. Hi. Okay, <laughs> honey, have a seat. Right here. Okay. Linko Kabanka Dito. That means you sit there. All right, she's never seen this particular workout. She tries not to pay much attention to much of what I do. <laughs> Honey, I forgot to tell you, this is very serious because aside from like working out, we're also looking for you know who or you know what that potentially lives in the forest behind our home. So for people to take this video seriously, you've got to do me one favor. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys, I've got all the equipment I need out here. We're going to go ahead and get started. All right, first of all, honey, you just, you got to help me do what I say, okay? okay. First of all, no, 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 sit. Uh, Linko okay. Kabanko Dito, okay. I'm giving you some equipment. First, I'm going to give you a cast iron skillet. Okay, and guys, take a very close look at this. You will understand the significance of this cast iron skillet by the end of this video. This was a gift from me to her. I should have never given her this. Why? You'll understand at the end of the video. Notice the rust. Keep your eyes on that. Now listen, you got to sit here with this on your lap. Okay. Now, like that. These are sticks. Okay? Put these right here for now. <laughs> Honey, why are you laughing so much? Now, when I tell you, you're going to break those sticks one at a time. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm taking this running comeback thing, this post-middle age post midlife crisis thing because I had that years ago um, seriously I even bought some running tights and I am amazed with the advancements in technology check this out <laughs> they have little pockets in these things where you can put your cell phones <laughs> whoa that's cool whoa I ask you to do one thing. Well, three things. Hold the frying pan, hold the sticks, and don't laugh. Okay. You see how seriously she's taking my post-middle age, post-midlife crisis <laughs> running comeback? So anyway, I just wanted to feel hip and cool. I got a cell phone just like the kids these days, and I saw this little pocket, so I stuck it in there. <laughs> Whoa, honey, that's cool. I think they use iPhones, you know, so that while they're running, they can watch movies and videos and scroll and talk to their fake friends. But you know, and if somebody called you and did that vibrator. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Okay, honey, I'm gonna start. <laughs> you should start now. <laughs> honey, start now. <laughs> Are you <laughs> done? <laughs> yeah. I'm done. All right, let's get into it. Guys, cross training for cross purpose. It's a total body workout. We're implementing daily life skills because, listen, most folks just really don't do enough. Just simple things. You know, we become so efficient in our society. The simple little things that just keep us fit aren't done because we pay others to do it for us or we've invented technology to do it for us. So, with no further ado, we're going to start our warm-up. Honey, take one stick. Okay. Now, listen, I even got racing flats. These are very lightweight running shoes. I mean, I got to think big. I'm not fast enough to actually use these yet. My seven and a half minute mile race pace. But listen, putting on your running shoes and tying them. I'm doing this in, in this video, even though you can't see that part of it. This is important. Okay, there was a guy named Jim Fix. He was a runner and a writer. Yeah, he wrote a book called On Running or something like that, I think. He said the hardest part of running was overcoming inertia. That means getting up off your butt and doing it. Putting on your shoes and tying them. That's why I demonstrated that. Okay, we're going to do a warm-up. It's called the running man. Let me get in place. Okay, I'm not using whistles. I had this really mean track coach in college. And, man, he blew that whistle so much, so I'm using sticks in my watch. Okay, ready? Hold on, wait. Sick. I'm not ready yet. Okay. okay, you gotta get a little bit of rest. God, don't break that stick yet. Hold on. <laughs> this isn't working for me. <sighs> not all technology is for the better. <laughs> now, guys. That's so crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay, honey, come on. Next one. I'm not gonna look. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, okay. You sure? Mm -hmm. It's time to be serious. Okay, now listen guys, you know how my research methods work. Don't watch me and don't pay attention to her laughing. You're supposed to be looking up here for him, her, it, or they. All right, second exercise. Oh man, these are hard. These are called Iron Man's. I got to do this back here so you can see it. This is going to include 20 pound dumbbells for me, but start light if you're not like as buff as me. Start with like three pounds or actually maybe two pounds. I'm using 20 because I've been doing this for a couple weeks. Okay, this will be chest, shoulders, arms. Just watch. All right, honey. Wait. Break a stick in three, two, one. Do the push up. Wow. Jump up. Spread your leg shoulder width apart. You do curls. Take them down. Then a military press. And then you repeat the process. Lots of times. Wow. Don't watch me. No, don't watch me. <laughs> oh, I'm doing them over here. You can't see me, but I'm doing lots of them. <laughs> no, look back there. I'm doing lots of them. I, I got out of the screenshot so you can see him, her, it, or they better. Oh my gosh, I just did like 10 in a row, really fast. 
That ain't nothing. Oh my God. All right, next exercise. This one is a mental exercise, okay? Thomas Jefferson, who lived right up the road from us here, built like half our town. He believed in reading at least two hours a day, but he actually read five hours a day. I do that a lot too, and I like to do these little tiny writing exercises, like the freestyle rap I did at the beginning of the video. <sighs> okay, I wrote a poem this morning. I wanna read it to you. This is a mental exercise. It's called Face in the Wood Grain. I saw his face in the wood grain of the door frame. <laughs> you see, she takes my writing as seriously as she takes my athletic endeavors. I gotta start over. Hold on. It's not long, don't worry. Face in the wood grain. I saw his face in the wood grain of the door frame of my upstairs bathroom and I did not look away. Nay, I did not look away. All right, so now we've recovered with the poem. We're gonna do one more and then the big challenge, okay? The big challenge. I challenge you guys all to do this. You gotta have balls to do this part of the workout. Should I break the stick now? Not yet. Okay. Okay, break the stick in three, two, one. I got a side stitch. Okay. Now, here's where it gets really intense. You minimize the recovery time. We need to be safe in this next one. Safety glasses. Okay, now listen. Part of daily routines most people just don't do. You gotta kick off your running shoes and put on your work boots. And you gotta wear safety glasses. It's all about safety. We're gonna. Split some wood. Always wear proper attire, proper gear, safety glasses. Anybody who's in close proximity, make sure they have safety glasses. Wear your gloves. Don't want splinters. Now, after you break the stick, when I say break the stick, you're gonna take this pan. Here, hold it up against my head, like this. Okay? Both hands. But like this? Yeah. Because you're gonna hold it against your head, like that. Oh, okay so that I don't hit you with wood. After you break the stick, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. So I cannot see you. You can look there and see me. Oh, okay. Okay, you ready? You know, <laughs> most people think I married you for your beauty, but you know I married you for your brains. <laughs> okay. 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 This gives us a lateral lat workout. Okay, this is funny. <laughs> wow. Works oh, triceps. Honey. You're very strong. It impresses the girls. <laughs> and I hear my echo. 
you hear your echo? Yeah. Do it again. Hi. Huh? I love you. I love you too. Yeah, I hear my echo. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, now. Oh, it's windy out here. Either that or it could be things we can't see moving the phone. It happens. All right, now comes a real challenge. After you've done all these things to warm up, 30 minute run. So, and don't don't take full recovery. Don't cool down on the way. You gotta kick off your work boots. Yeah, you can take the safety glasses off now. Okay, put your running shoes back on. It's kinda like, I, you train for triathlons doing this stuff too, you know? Uh, uh. Okay, now we're gonna go for a 30 minute run. Stay here the whole time, okay? Yeah. I gotta reset my watch. Okay, break the stick in three, two, one. <laughs> And then we wrapped it all up with a 30 minute run. I'm not even breathing hard. It's like I didn't even run for 30 minutes. <laughs> That's how effective this workout is. It gets you in shape. <laughs> okay. You have one last stick. Has anybody ever wondered why we call her Giggly Girl? I have one last stick. Mm -hmm. Cool down. Oh, wow. I didn't see that coming. Neither did I. <laughs> I had no more plans to continue this video, but then you threw that whole, you got one more stick thing in there, and I had to come up with something. <laughs> <sighs> okay, the cool down. I like to spend my time cooling down looking for a special friend of ours that may or may not live on our homestead. So, honey, break that stick. Tuk 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 tuk